Right, Norman, we're halfway there. Now, you've got to screw the screws into the tree trunk really tight, OK? OK. And don't you try and get up there while I'm doing this, Daddy. Well, it depends who's finished first, doesn't it, Norman? Now, come on, you two. No one's allowed up in that treehouse until the bracing poles are in place. I'm definitely getting in that treehouse first. <laughs> finished! Who oh, uh, That was quick. Yes, yes, very quick. Oh, look! I'm first at the ladder. Wait, Norman, let me pass. No, wait, Derek. Oh, one at a time. If you're going to find me, I'm probably the best hider in Ponty Pandy. I'm like the invisible man. Let's keep this simple. One pirate flag and one coat of paint. No way! Ponty Pandy Pete had loads of treasure, so we should fill it with loads of piratey things. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Norman. Three people have got to stand on that ship. Well, they can tiptoe over the treasure. Pirates don't tiptoe. Look, I'm not having you ruin my first ever job as a set designer. And I'm not having you ruin my first job as a set designer. Uh, right. You're not decorating anything on my half of the ship. And you're not decorating anything on my half of the ship. <gasps> fine with me. And fine with me. And my half is going to be the best ever! <laughs> I told them I was good. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh, ants. Oh, they're crawling up my leg. Ah! Oh, I've got ants in my pants! Ah! Start the stopwatch, Mandy. I'm doing the first record-breaking balloon flight from Ponty Pandy to Newtown. Start the stopwatch, Mandy. I'm going to break the pogoing record. Only six million and forty-one bounces to go. And we are. There's a record for how many times someone stopped a stopwatch. What are you doing? I've made a cannon! Then I made a sail out of Mam's old nineties. Oh, and treasure chests from cardboard boxes. And if it That's too much stuff, Norman. It needs to look piratey. I'm going to get more things. My half of the ship will be spectacular. Oh, why do I have to do the stinky fertilizer? Because in Team Garden Force, everyone has a job to do, and that's your job, Norman. And what are you going to be doing as part of Team Garden Force, Mandy? I'm building the fountain, so I'm off to Joe's to see if he's got a water pump I could use. Well, that sounds like an easy job to me. There are no easy jobs in Team Garden Force, Norman Price. Now go and get the rest of the fertilizer and get on with it. I'll be back as soon as I can. I'll be back. Found you! But that's not fair. I bet you didn't even count to a hundred. I did. You're just not very good at hiding. <laughs> I, I am so. What's all the fuss? I found Norman really easily. Ha! Norman, you said you were brilliant at hiding and you were rubbish. I am not. Everyone knows I'm a champion hider. I have medals and big silver cups and everything. Well, 
James found you straight away, and now it's your turn to look. But I didn't get a chance to hide properly. Yeah. Norman Man to the rescue! Ow! Atomic boy. Ow! Oh. Ow! Sorry, Norman. Oh, I mean, Norman Man. <laughs> I can't see anything. That's because you've got your mask on back to front. If you're going to be my sidekick and we are going to patrol the streets of Ponty Pandy looking for people to rescue, then you actually have to be at my side at all times. This is so stinky. Not more stuff. Yar! I've got oars. And look what Bronwyn had at the cafe. An actual barrel. Norman, you're making your side of the ship too heavy. Oh, this is going to be the most piratey pirate ship ever. Just stop. You stop. Very good, Sarah. What? Norman, are you sure you should be doing this? Yes, Mandy. I need to get that cheese. Oh, I can almost taste it. Take your marks. Be careful, Mike. Your injuries have only just healed from last year. Of course I'll be careful, love. Get it up! Uh, oh, 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 oh. Come on, Mike! Oh, 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 oh. Come on, Timmy! Yes! <laughs> no, you watch mine! <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> oh! Can you show? Don't pick that one. It, right, forget that trick. Watch this. Okay, the tricks aren't quite right yet, but by this afternoon's magic show, they'll be perfect. You are coming, aren't you, Sam? Well, I'd really love to, Norman, but the fire service is expecting a very important visitor today, so I need to be back at the station. Atomic Boy's not going to be the sidekick anymore. Just because you rescued a cat from a boat. Well, at least I didn't end up with my pants filled with water having to be rescued by Uncle Sam. But they weren't. Well, maybe a bit. What's that? It's my Atomic Boy cyberspace communicator. It's your mum's phone with an atomic sticker on it. She said that while I'm Atomic Boy, I'm allowed to use it. I don't believe it. You, you've got a gadget! And I did a real heroic rescue. So, from now on, I think you should be my sidekick. What? What? What is it? Atomic Boy and Norman Man. No, James. From now on, we're Atomic Boy and Norman Man, but separate. Let's see who the greatest superhero in Ponty Pandy is now, shall we? All right, then. Fine by me. Best explorer, and I'm going to prove it. I'm going to send the biggest smoke signals ever. No, Norman, stop! <gasps> ah! <Whoa! laughs> Trevor, what do we do now? Uh, my book says that uh, in the event of an island fire, to uh, Move away to the shore! Oh, yes! Well done, James! Now, life vests on everyone! Wait! Slow down, Chase! Uh, ah, you're not 
getting away that easily, cheese. Away train, then it will be time for Norman Man to rescue him. What's happening? Granddad, help! Help! I'm on a runaway train. Ah, it's time for Norman Man to come to the rescue with his special new gadget. <laughs> Magical music. It... Aww, but there's no plug hole is left. My show won't be spectacular without my magical music. Why don't you just use batteries? Batteries? But where am I going to get batteries from? I know just the place. Oh, there are hundreds of people. Quick, Mandy, get in the box and don't come out until you hear me call your name. You said I'd be in the grand finale. This is for the grand finale. Now get in the box. Oh, Norman. It's all dirty and yes. just for showtime. Oh. Are you sure you packed everything I need for the best sleepover ever, Mum? Of course I have, Norman. I packed your toothbrush and your comb and your teddy bear. Oh, don't <laughs> pack that. I don't want to look like a baby. Have you packed my army bob pyjamas? Of course I have, my little treasure. Oh, that's my... That's my... And now I'm off to the best sleepover ever! Don't be silly, Mandy. How are you ever going to fly over Ponty Pandy Mountain? Norman, watch what you're doing! <gasps> Norman! Sorry, Trevor. Here we are, alone in the mountains. Don't worry, kids. I'll keep an eye out for you as well. Cut! <laughs> Perhaps this is the home of the abominable snow monster. Oh, does this my slump It's the big, scary monster. <laughs> Mandy. No, man. That is the silliest special effect I've ever seen. It's the monster's eyes. It's supposed to look scary. Well, it doesn't. And the monster's voice doesn't sound very scary either. It just sounds like you. <laughs> I will make this the biggest, bestest, scariest th th monster movie ever. So stop laughing. Take 24! Ladies and gentlemen, the average Normanski! Amazing! Um, sorry, the amazing average Normanski! Poverty, oh. poverty, bippity bat! I shall now pull a lion out of a hat. <laughs> hey, come back, lion. You've ruined the trick. <laughs> and I mean, um, no. that was meant to happen. Ta-da! Oh, cool. He's even got a smoke machine. 
machine. Of course I've got a smoke machine. And now, for my next trick... <coughs> hey, hey, I haven't got a smoke machine. Ah! <gasps> fire! Everybody out. I'll call Fireman Sam. Right. All we have to do is wait for your mum and dad to go to bed. And then we can have the best sleepover ever. I'm so excited. It's a good job I don't have big baby pyjamas like you two. These aren't baby pyjamas. Neither are these. Well, they are compared to my pyjamas. Oh, no. My mum packed my cuddly sheep pyjamas. Uh, everybody, look over there. <gasps> what? at, Norma? Is it something scary? Um, I thought I saw a, a giant penguin. A giant penguin? Uh, maybe I was wrong. So, are you going to change into your not big baby pyjamas then, Norman? No. Only babies wear pyjamas. I'm going to sleep in my clothes. Well, if Norman isn't wearing baby pyjamas, then neither am I. I hope my mum and dad go to bed soon. And then we can have the best sleepover ever. Hmm. A toboggan ride down a steep slope will make my actors look really frightened and make my movie really scary. OK, actors, get on the toboggan. We can hear you. You'll slide down this um, gentle slope and I'll follow behind, filming you so it will look like the monster is chasing you down the mountain. But Uncle Sam told us not to go past those boundary ropes, Norman. Action! Norman Price! That was very dangerous! Oh, be quiet and look scared! really do look scared. Avalanche! Ava what? Ah! Quick! Into the hut! My camera! My movie! At least we're safe. But, oh no, the door's blocked. We're trapped. I can't believe that Atomic Boy has a gadget. Why can't Norman Man have a gadget? Maybe Norman Man can have a gadget. Hello, Norman. Oh, are you a superhero? Thank you. At last, somebody understands what I'm supposed to be. I love superheroes. And I know just what you need. A utility belt. I think what he needs is a new pair of pants. Oh, shush, Hannah, you are so jealous. A utility belt would be amazing, Joe. Have you got one? I'll see what I can do. Atomic Boy patrols the streets of Ponty Poundy, looking for any signs of trouble. Roman Man, now with his trusty utility belt, moves like a panther through the mean streets of Ponty Poundy. Ponty Pandy Citizen is in trouble! Atomic Boy leaps into action! Oh, uh, Norman Man leaps into much better action than Atomic Boy! Norman Man isn't even trying to climb up the tree! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Norman Man doesn't have to! Not when he has. Ba -da -da -da! The Norman Hook! Ah! See? Wow! James, did you bring the midnight feast? Oh, yes. Three carrots? I thought they would be a healthy treat. How will this be the best sleepover ever when we've only got three carrots for the midnight feast? I've got a custard, too. Ew. 
Never mind. We're going to have to sneak downstairs and see what's in the kitchen. Ah! Um, stay there. I just need to check that the coast is clear. But Mum and Dad are in bed. <laughs> No one will ever see them now. All clear. Now, we need to find all the yummy ingredients we can. <laughs> I am going to make the best sleepover sandwich ever. Ah, now, I just need to toast it. Are you sure you should be doing that, Norman? Of course I should, Mandy. This is the best sleepover ever, isn't it? Now, time for a scary story. Scary story? Oh, that's very dark. It's got to be dark for the really scary sleepover story. Cool. This is going to be the best sleepover ever. So... What's the scary sleepover story, Norman? It's called... The Fog of Doom. Oh! Once upon a time, there was a really scary person who lived in a really scary house. When he hears that fire alarm sound, 